Hi, today a new video on my new owner of the Volvo playlist, where in every video I repair small things or improve daily usage. In this video we are going to make aux input, SD card reader and USB connector for original Volvo HU series radio head unit receiver. This car is from 2006 and things like aux input, Bluetooth or USB are missing. Because FM transmitters that you have to connect to car cigarette lighter socket have terrible sound quality. We have to use CD changer input entry that is closer to audio CD quality. Most important thing is that for doing this do-it-yourself improvement, you'll have to buy car MP3 interface block that of course is meant for a specific Volvo HU series. Block costs around $35. There are also variants with Bluetooth, basically a lot of variants and a lot of prices. Anyway, making for one Volvo AUX SD and USB inputs in a car repair shop would cost 4 times more. In the box for $35 we can find the manual how to format SD USB memories, how to create maps and other useful stuff. Of course we can't forget about Doxin Yi, car MP3 USB SD interface for Volvo HU head units. We will have to connect this box in a place of Volvo head unit external CD changer. Also we can find a cheap quality 3.5mm aux cable. So let's begin, shall we? This is the first time I'm doing this actually. Car is S60, year 2006. 2.4 D5. Just so you know for which car I'm doing this. If you have a different car, then search on YouTube how to get to the back of the car stereo. Usually it's not so hard, you just have to avoid damaging something. When you remove the gear shift cover, you can see two screws that we shouldn't screw, but do it really carefully. If they fall inside somewhere, it will be impossible to get them back. When screws are out, move out the whole console, but be careful with the wires. If they get damaged, then say goodbye to interior heating and other functions. When moving the console, avoid scratching decorative plastic, because you'll have to look at them all the time and remember your clumsiness. On the back of the radio head unit, there is a free place for external 10 CD changer. Right here we will connect our aux adapter. If adapter is correct, then plug-in should match. Then find a place where you'll put this little box. In a cup holder, in a free space behind the console, or a glove compartment that I chose for myself. Because there is plenty of space and when inserting SD or USB memory, I can forget about this box. Then disconnect the glove compartment fastener, so we can open it wider and pull through our new cable. Take our SD, USB and aux in interface block cable and with quick fingers pull it to the end of our head unit. Get ready and connect the plug. It's pretty strange that the cable is going up, pretty unusual. This yellow wire is plus 12 volt power supply for the adapter. We can take the voltage from the stereo wire, disconnect the car's stereo plug-in so we can do other things. I already soldered the power supply wire, but it's also possible to do it with special plugs. When wire is isolated, connect the main plug-in back into our head unit and check the other connectors if they are in their places. Very carefully, without damaging something, put back our middle console with the head unit. After screwing everything back in, everything looks like new. Well at least for a used 2006 car. When everything is in its place, all we have to do now is test it out. And it's alive, nice! We saved up around $100, very Gucci. Put back decorative plastics back in their places without damaging them. Clean our dirty fingerprints and done! I also added some photos for the manual on how to correctly prepare SD USB memories for this external audio box. As always, big thanks for watching! Don't forget to leave a like for my creativity and safely click the subscribe so we can meet in another DIY video. And ciao!